Hello everybody, welcome back to Pete's Treasures YouTube channel. If you haven't, please subscribe. Give me some comments. Tell me what you liked about these treasures. What pieces do you know about? What pieces are your favorite? Or just say hello so I know you're watching. Uh, if you have not watched part one, it is in our previous video. So I encourage you to check it out and the following videos because I will have a part three and part four. What you see before you is from Salvation Army. I have volunteered at the shelter several times um, during the holidays with my school and this is the store that benefits the shelter. So Salvation Army Family Thrift Store in Dallas, Texas. And let's start with this gorgeous, soft, beautiful, reversible blanket. I bought this for myself because I just love these colors and this pattern. It was $5. Um, now, the brand is Roca Home, made in Portugal. And, okay, that was probably horrible pronunciation. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> um, it sells well, probably about 50, but I like it. Um, let me tell you, they never have half off, but it is post quarantine and you know, it was very busy. So I was nervous, but you know, we wore, wore our mask and we started in the part of the store that was the least bit busy. And thankfully there was hardly anyone over there. And as we were shopping, it was clearing out little by little. So what I was going to say is they never have half off everything. So knickknacks, home goods was all half off. So yay, not the blanket. I wish you were 250. But anyways, let's start. Port Marion, the does that say the hoary? The hoary morning apple. Tell me in the comments if that says hoary. Anyways, <laughs> big bowl from Port Marion. I, I mentioned Port Marion in another video. Love it, very good quality. This was a dollar. Um, set of two, J and G Meekin from England, the Medici pattern, I believe. Now, just cause it has marks like this, it is still sellable. Cause this is the most important part and there are no chips or cracks. If it's a hairline crack, I usually don't sell it because that means it's, you know, not usable. Um, however, if you see small cracks in the glaze, you can see a little bit, that's called crazing. Think of glaze, craze. All right, this was a set of two. I think they're beautiful um, for a dollar. A dollar for both, 50 cents each, love it. This is melamine. It's not quite vintage, I don't think. Silite, Silite, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, this was like 60 cents. No, I think it was 50 cents, anyways. Very cute, I don't know the characters. If you know this character, tell me in the comments down below. But you know what, it's most likely just a cute children's dish. Speaking of children's dish, this is a melamine, which is like the heavy duty plastic, a SeaWorld divided plate um, by SeaWorld, made in Taiwan. Um, got this for 50 cents. Now this is actually glass and it's SeaWorld as well. Love it. Do you hear Pete? That's what we named our channel, our beautiful Pete. He's barking, that's why we have him outside. Um, anyways, the SeaWorld cup, very cool. Um, this looks like real porcelain, the way they have it textured. And this looks like antique stoneware. But no, it's Pottery Barn Kids. Very good brand. People like it. We've sold some sheets from them. Um, I guess it's the Cambria tabletop pattern. BPA free, thank goodness. You don't want to get poisoned with your little dinner. Okay, uh, 50 cents. These are Ikea cups. Retired, which Ikea is pretty collectible. People like Ikea. Um, it has, I don't know if they belong together, but they're both Ikea, so I'm gonna sell them together. Don't know for how much, but 50 cents each. Great price. I love that it was half off. Or Originals, Happy Products for Good People, 2012. That's a good year. Excuse me, okay, um, yeah. I just liked it because of the camera. 
Nothing too special. Allied Foods. I got, oh, Allied Stores, excuse me. This was a store that was around in the 1930s. Centennial. Um, 1930s. And it dissipated. It was sold to many different other stores. And those stores either closed or became other stores. So, at least that's what I gather from Wikipedia. Thanks, Wikipedia. Um, so, yeah. This was 50 cents. I just like old shot glasses. Um... Starbucks, little espresso cup, very cute, with a mermaid and a seahorse. What year are you? 2015. Cute. 50 cents. I love Starbucks. Now, we just sold a Dubai shot glass. Speaking of shot glasses, this is a plate for 50 cents. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Al Jaber Gallery. It's really nice. A little teacup, little espresso cup. Not sure. Probably souvenir, but really nice. A dollar total. Uh, I love vintage advertising, as I mentioned in the past. This is for Purcell. Now, these little scuffs, if you can see at the bottom, will easily go away for the most part if you use a cleaner called Barkeeper's Friend. Um, it's like an abrasive cleaner, I think, and it tends to take out spoon marks for the most part. These were 50 cents each, and I was happy to find another one that kind of goes with it. Alles neu macht. All make new. See, I told you I know a little German. So I guess it keeps your clothes fresh and makes them look new again. Henry! That rustling is Henry digging through another thrift haul. Stay tuned. Okay, anyways, this is a ceramic cup. Henry. Credit. <laughs> okay, this is a ceramic cup from Disney, made in Thailand. A lot of their stuff was made in Thailand. Um, I think it's really cute. No chips, no cracks, no crazing. Really cute. Oh, I forgot. There is. Oh my goodness, I spoke too soon. Very, very, very tiny hairline crack. You can't even see it on the outside. We may sell it and disclose that or keep it as a cute pencil holder. Either way, 50 cents. Okay, these plates. I have listed a whole bunch of them. This is by the company Royal Copenhagen. There's also another one called Bing and Grandel who makes similar. It is porcelain from Denmark. And Moore's dog means Mother's Day. This one is 1974, so vintage. This is my favorite one. It's like a little decorative plate. I believe you're not supposed to eat off of them. Yep, you're supposed to hang it. See that? Um, these were all, I believe, 50 cents. Either that or a dollar. But this was my favorite one. Look at the dogs. Love it so much. It's beautiful. Here's another one from 1971. Look at the little kitties. And the little girl, she's creepy. She reminds me of Skull Kid from Zelda. Morris Dog, Mother's Day, 1971. Royal Copenhagen. Okay, I already have this one listed in my store. So all I have to do is put quantity two. Morris Dog, 1972. Look at all the babies on her arms. She must be strong. That, I mean, and look at him climbing on her dress and her little feet. Anyways, what a good mother taking care of her children. Okay, uh, Moore's Dog, 1973. Ooh, this one's very whimsical. I brought you a flower, mommy. No, child, let me just lay on my rocking chair. Y'all are like... What am I watching? Oh, this one's beautiful. Mommy, I skinned my knee. That's okay, darling. Come sit with me in the wheat field. 1978. Morse dog. So I have 71, 72, 73, 74, 78. I believe a dollar each. They're very high quality. Now, they don't sell for very much. There's certain years that do, but... You just have to wait until someone wants that particular year because people collect them. I think they're cool nonetheless. Let's move on. Now these. 
four of them were taped together for a dollar fifty. Y'all are gonna laugh at the brand. So not only did we have the hoary morning at morning apple, but we have the hooker's fruit. The Royal Horticulture Society. Okay, look at this. Made in India, designed in England, made in China. So what is it? Was it made in India or China? Maybe both. But it's Queens. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's almost like an English bone China. Ooh, confusing. But there's the hooker's fruits, y'all. Anyways, they're very pretty. And they came very cheap. To me, at least. So I am going to sell high. Uh, the others were a dollar each, so not as good of a deal. There is one right here that has a flea bite, a little chip. So I might sell sets of three and disclose the chip. Who knows? Okay, I will speed this up because we have more parts to this show. Um, sealed puzzle. Puzzles have been doing well. Writing the Declaration of Independence, 1776. That was a good year. Look at all the mess they're making. Benjamin, pick that up. Anyways, 550 piece. I got it for a dollar. Thank you. Okay, 1995 originally. So that's a pretty good deal. I can say new sealed. Okay, my favorite Patsy Cline song is Tennessee Waltz, and that's my grandparents' favorite. So when I saw this little fluted, it almost looks like a mini hurricane glass. If you know the exact term for this type of glass, tell me in the comments, because I forgot at the moment. I think it's beautiful. It's for the Opryland Hotel, Nashville, Tennessee. This was 50 cents. I got it for myself, but we'll most likely sell it. I love vintage plastic bins. I keep my eBay receipts in them. We keep ties that we're selling in them. It just looks really cool to me. I know that's silly, but this was like 50 cents. Now, really old plastic is called Bakelite. And there's a test you can do by like rubbing it with your finger and the heat makes it smell like oil, I think. I don't know if that's exactly true. And this might not be Bakelite. So anyways, I just liked it because it was vintage. These were only 250 each and it is an in box Anchor Hawking, very popular glass company. Uh, Rainflower eight piece snack set. So an eight piece snack set in box for only 250. Now it's heavy, so you can't really sell it for that much. Maybe 20 plus shipping, but that'll end up being like $40. I don't know, but FedEx gives you a better rate. Anyways, for 250 each, I thought that was worth picking up. People love Anchor Hawking. It's very collectible depending on um, what pattern people like. Like, this is pretty. Um, and people love finding things in the original box. Oops. Um, and uh, yeah, this is Henriksdal Gobo. Don't know why I said it with that accent. Anyways, it's a brand new in package, Ikea. We talked about Ikea being very collectible. People buy a chair and, you know, this is white, so it could be, get stained. By tomato sauce or like wine like oh my gosh go to eBay order me a replacement okay well here you go here you go um, yeah this was only 250 great price um, I don't know if it's vintage or not a lot of IKEA items like bookshelves certain popular items will stay in circulation for a long time now this is King Kamehameha from Hawaii very big, nice decorative plate by Fred Roberts, San Francisco, made in Japan. That is a good company and they make really cool things, uh, giftware and other things. So I think I could sell this for about $25. It was only a dollar. Um, this unfortunately has two little flea bites around the rim, but for the most part, it looks nice. I recognize this brand right away. Um, Candace Ryder? I forget. Catzilla. Oh yeah, Candace Ryder. I was looking at the signature. Like how I said I know this brand and then I'm trying to read it. Obviously, I didn't know the brand. I just know the look of it. Um, so yeah, it was, when I found out it was fifth, uh, it was half off, I'm like, of course I'm gonna get it. Y'all, 
I'm so bad. I didn't tell you what's coming at the end. My favorite item. I should have said that from the beginning. Anyways, this. Nasal clear, battery operated aspirator. Clear stuffy noses fast and we need that during allergy season, let me tell you. It's for zero plus aged little babies. Anyways, this was 50 cents, brand new. Never opened. And we can sell it for about $25. I know it. This, good brand Wedgwood. However, this is popular, so it might not be like extremely expensive, but brand new in box. It has a little kid's plate, porcelain, uh, fine china, um, and a mug and a little bowl. So it's a little kid's set. And it was only a dollar, y'all. Vintage, 1997, made in England. Great find. Um, almost done here. I got three of these for only a dollar fifty, and I love frames when I can pick them up that are still sealed. Um, this will be to use. Usually I have cheeky art that I frame or other artwork, and these are great. They're cheap, but they're, yeah, I like it because it's cheap, I guess, but they work. These are the hidden bracket shelves. These were only $2, earn not included. I know, I know. Originally $9.99, I guess. I mean, $2, I got two of them new in box, either to sell or use. I might want to spray paint it or just paint it in general. So yeah, let me show you my favorite item. It is right up here. Been very into tiki culture lately. This is more Mayan or Aztec, I can't tell. It is beautiful. Great condition. It was 40, but half off, so it was 20. I just couldn't believe I got this nice artwork for that price. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out part one. Like, comment, and subscribe to uh, see more videos. It was very fun shopping with my mom at Salvation Army. And stay tuned for part three from Peace Treasures. Thank you. Bye, everybody.